Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Blazed. So today I am at Savers thrift store and I figured it is time for me to give Savers like a second chance, like take another chance, take a chance on me. Because you know my feelings on the ever so popular Savers thrift store are just a little, you know, so-so, a little medium, a little lukewarm if you will. I went and tried out my first ever Savers thrift store a couple of months back because I'm originally from Ohio and we just like don't have Savers there. So a couple of months ago I hit a Savers, I don't remember exactly where it was, it was a little bit outside of LA like I am right now and it was just a tad underwhelming. I found a couple of really cool pieces, but other than that, I was like, you know, eh. So I thought I would give it a second chance because everyone raves about it so damn much. I got my thrift bag with me full of all my thrift necessities, and I'm about to go run inside because it just opened. There was literally like so many people, the biggest group of people waiting outside a thrift store I've ever seen. And that is saying a lot because I always hit the thrift as soon as it opens because who can deal with people to people, not me. Anyway, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy thrifting videos and getting down to the damn get down, having a good time, hit subscribe down below. We're gonna, we're gonna head in. I'm a little bit nervous because it does look back to the damn brim, but we'll shimmy our way through and it will be, it'll be fantastic. Hey queen. Oh my gosh, and before I walk in, I forgot to tell you guys, I have a coupon. Okay, so I just got in and I'm randomly feeling pulled to go to the sweaters automatically, which is weird for me, and I just found this blue one and this red one. I don't know. I'm really into this blue one because I've been really into like this blue color and it's Ralph Lauren. And I'm not being shut down by prices today because like I said, we've got a coupon. <laughs> This is literally the cutest crop sweater I've ever seen. This is a little weird. This kind of looks like a Christmas tree, but we'll try her on. I wasn't playing, guys. I am loving the sweaters. Look at these. I'm gonna be here a long ass time. These are cute, and you guys know I love the split crack booty, just like, honey, can you do me a favor and show my split crack booty? Yeah, beautiful ass for my beautiful ass queens. Did you find us something? Look at this cheeto silk room. That's pretty glamorous. What else did you find? Yeah, this I is cute. Know. This is a very like fall slip dress. This actually, if you guys saw my LA for Queens video with Carrie, the dress that I got her, that like cheetah print one, animal print one, kind of looks like that, but like teal. So we've already filled up quite a bit. I feel like this savers has stolen my heart a little bit. this pink puffer jacket. It's kind of perfect. That is some 80s realness that I do not need, but my gosh. Okay, all of these jackets are so incredibly good. This one, very 80s shoulders. And then this reaction Kenneth Cole Co is very cool as well. So is this VIP collection. So are these. Literally, there are so many good leather jackets and suede jackets, which are my fave. Look at this sweatshirt. Okay, so I picked up a couple more things to add to my pile, and I'm gonna hit the fitting rooms because I've collected quite a loot. Okay, honestly, Savers has been sold to me. I'm feeling so much better about this place. Honestly, like good AF about this place. I'm gonna show you guys here a couple of the jackets that I have. This is a sweatshirt, but a lot of jackets, quite a few chunky sweaters, which isn't really my MO usually. I've never been one for a chunky sweater, you know, like the chunky sweater, jeans, like boots, kind of classic fall vibe. It's never been for me, and I've never really found like the excitement in a chunky sweater, but I think it's because I found some really like dope ass colors in here. I'm very excited about. Okay, let's have a party. Okay, I'm not gonna know how to pick out a chunky sweater. I feel like I'm gonna like every single one that I put on my body because they're comfortable. I will say this one, I really like this. Different texture here, very ribbed. Different textured here, very like textured. <laughs> and then like these more like knit sleeves. It's very cool and very unique, but it did make me have like static hair, static hair Harris when I put it on, so you'll see. Okay, this one I'm like very excited about. This is the one that is like perfectly cropped, but also the one that has this like, I don't know why this reminds me of like a Christmas tree. 
on the cuffs. <laughs> huh. Hmm. You know, this is reminding me of a Christmas tree. Light me up from head to toe. Like I am, I'm a Christmas tree. I don't like this. Oh man. It's like I started this off thinking I was gonna love the sweaters and I haven't liked either of these. Just not a very like flattering cut. Guys, maybe I just don't know how I would personally style a sweater. I do really like these colors, the white, and then like the different like kind of tan, like oatmeal kind of vibes. Maybe if I did this with like a cool jacket, maybe one of these cool jackets. I think I'm gonna end up getting this just because it's like cute and cozy. I'm not a very like holiday vibes, Christmassy kind of gal. I'm not like Scrooge or anything, not even the Grinch, just not all about that ho ho ho, but this is cute. This is winter, this is vibes. I like it with my gold earrings, honestly. Okay, I love this color so damn much. It is so beautiful, but I just don't know how I could edge this up. It's also like very fitted. I'm like tempted just to get it because I have that coupon and just see if I can do something with it. But this neckline is just a little like, whoo, where'd it go, whoo. You could wear this on the holidays and then like when you go home for the holidays and see your ex like the night before Thanksgiving, you know like Thanksgiving even everyone goes out and gets waisty pants. Like you see your ex-boyfriend running out of my school and you just be like, peace. <laughs> Okay, this I really love. I don't even know if I have anything orange in my closet, but this is cute. I feel like we compared this with one of these jackets for a vibe. Oh my gosh, let's do some color blocking. This is about to look real cute. You guys saw this puffy coat when I picked it out earlier. Look at that. Color blocking fashion moment. Okay, I gotta know who okayed the low rise pants thing. I would say coming back into style, but these are probably old pants. I really like these pants, these like kind of like olivey green, because olive green's like my favorite color pants, but they are literally like, they're like my underwear's down there. Like, what is this? I don't like to walk around with my belly button hanging out. If you want to show your belly button all power to you, love it. But for me, I'm not the most comfortable with the scars that are on my belly button from my endometriosis surgeries. <laughs> I've had three of them, so. I think I might have to leave these behind even though I love them. This is hot and I'm probably getting it even though it's $20, at least I have a coupon. This is so nice. It's the ghost of Saver, still here from Halloween. I need this. This looks hella expensive. Okay, thank God this is nothing special because <laughs> I don't need to buy another jacket. Okay, so I'm going to head back out there. I'm probably gonna scan around a little bit more, but I think I found quite a good, um, quite a good collection of things that are behind this jacket right there. Remember to have a good ass time in the fitting room and look at yourself and tell yourself how much of a beautiful ass queen you are, how much you fucking rock. It doesn't matter what size you wear, what you look like, you're a beautiful ass queen and that is all that matters. It is all that matters. Okay, we're gonna head home and do a damn try on haul. a couple of days. I went thrifting on Sunday and it is now Tuesday and I have to just throw out there right now that I have been having the endometriosis flare-up of all endometriosis flare-ups. That's like a lot of syllables to come out of your mouth at once in my life over the past couple of days since Sunday actually. Literally it started like right after I went thrifting on Sunday. So like honestly the last thing I want to do is like put on a lot of clothes, take off a lot of clothes, style up a lot of outfits, but I'm not gonna let my beautiful ass queens down. I am here to deliver but I am here to deliver in a different way than normal. If you're new, I usually style up all of my like thrift store finds in the haul like into some bomb ass outfits to show you guys how you can incorporate the pieces you pick up at the thrift into your wardrobe but today I am just here in my underpants my new fabulous underpants that are sustainable and size inclusive and hot as hell and that I will be having a video coming out about on Friday I am just putting this out there right now when I'm having an endometriosis flare-up the only thing I ever want to have on my body from now on are these underpants because the last thing I want and if you have endometriosis you feel me is to put pants on is to put a tight ass band around my sweet ass tummy. So I'm going to be doing this try on haul, my fabulous new boy shorts, and I'm just going to be showing you guys the clothes. We're going to talk through them. We're going to have a good ass time, even though I feel a pile of dog shit, but that's okay. Let's just get started. Okay. So first up, we have this orange sweater. Honestly, um, I know I'm like a little late. It's like not Halloween -y anymore. It is November. Everyone is on their holiday vibes, but I've just been really into color lately. And TBH, I even just like love these with these high-waisted underwear right now. Like this is just such a vibe to me. I saw this sweater. I actually think that it's 
loft. It's N. Taylor Loft. And on this trip, I was looking for a lot of color and I was looking for long sleeves because the heat wave in LA has ended and it is now time to break out our fall and winter best. So I was going for sweaters, I was going for long sleeves and I was going for color and that is what I found. It is just like nice. It is ribbed, it is orange, it is in your face. It is everything I want in a shirt. I'm a little delirious, honestly, guys, because I've been just like bedridden for the past couple of days. But yes, there's not much else to say about it except here it is. Shimmy shimmy, gimme gimme. Let's move on. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang, bada yas, yas, yas. Okay, this top I am so excited about. Honestly, over the moon, very Lizzie McGuire. I mean, it just makes me think of Lizzie McGuire, but like sexy new Lizzie McGuire reboot situation. I love this so much. I think I talked a couple of videos back about how I really wanted to try like rocking the trend of a cardigan that kind of is just buttoned with like no shirt underneath it. Obviously I would put pants on. I would probably style all of these shirts with pants, keyword probably, but they look cute with my new underwear too. And this is really just like a shimmery, really pretty top. It has all this beading on the arms, which I think is just so cool. It's just like super sparkly. It only has this one button. So you could obviously wear it as a cardigan with like a tank top under it um, unbuttoned, but like, I think I'm just gonna wear it like this. Like very Genie in a Bottle vibes. I feel like this is a very shimmy shimmy top. So yes, we love. Okay, so apparently I'm becoming a sweater bitch now. You guys saw that I tried on multiple sweaters at the thrift store. It was the first rack that I went to right away. And I think that's just because I didn't know like the layout of that savers. Usually when I go to thrift stores that I've been to before, I go to like certain sections first. But when I go to a thrift store for the first time, I kind of just go wherever my eyes lead me. And my eyes led me to the sweaters. And I came home with this one. Um, you guys saw this in the try on, but the colors, I like the colors. Even though I like colorful shit, I like tan shit too. I don't know how I'm gonna style this exactly. Maybe under like a brown or some kind of leather jacket, maybe the one that I bought. And it just has like these little cute little panelings on it, little squares, little cable knit thing design situation down the middle. And oh, it just changed the, all the lighting in my apartment. I don't know why this is my bringing the lighting back dance. Hey, definitely gonna start putting out like thrifted outfits of the month videos. So you guys can see like me like style up all these pieces in real life. But I thought this sweater was cute. I thought it was a nice sweater that didn't scream like Christmas holiday vibes. I'm not like the biggest holiday person. So I thought this was like a cute winter white. You guys know me, I'll definitely edge this up. I'll definitely wear it with some leather, or a sneaker, and like just some like hotness. Like we'll, we'll make this hot, we'll make this hot. We will make a cable knit sweater hot. <laughs> Ugh, guys, do we like this? I don't even know if I like this now. I didn't try it on in the thrift store and now I'm like, cannot even be sure for one second. Okay, well, I'm just gonna show it to you anyway. I saw the Tommy Hilfiger situation and it drew my eye and I was like, okay. And I just threw it in my cart. You know, sometimes we do that. This was a very just like threw it in the cart type of situation. And I came home with some Tommy Hilfiger. It was less than $3, which is why I think I got it. I definitely wouldn't have paid like more for this. And maybe I'll be able to style this up with like a leather jacket, like a leather trench. Hmm, maybe we can do that. But like, ugh, guys, why did I buy this? I don't know, it's kind of cute. Now I'm just trying to convince myself I'm usually much better about impulse decisions and impulse purchases at the thrift store, um, but it's a Tommy Hilfiger top. Okay, next up, I have thrown my t-shirt back on because I have two cardigans to show you guys. I'm very excited about these. I know I was kind of like subpar excited about that stuff, but I'm really excited about these sweaters. They were my favorite pickups of the entire haul, and that's just because I don't have any cardigans. I feel like I have just really don't have any cardigans from last season at all, and I've honestly been loving when I'm not trying to have like a super out there crazy wild outfit moment. I've been loving like just a t-shirt and jeans. This t-shirt, some baggy jeans, and some black heeled boots. Hell yes, with a leather jacket or a cardigan if you're feeling soft and like a little bit more innocent. Um, it's just like long, it's cute, it kind of is like perfectly poofed when you do that with the sleeves, it bunches up correctly. We love it and with jeans, absolutely. I just cannot put a pair of jeans on right now. I just am not gonna do that to my uterus. Anyway, this one I love so, so much. First of all, the tag is so cute. I'll show it to you guys. It just reminded me of something that I've seen a ton of brands putting out recently um, and I love the color. I'm obsessed with the color. I actually just posted this on Instagram the other day, at Missy Lenny. I will link it down below, but give me a follow if you wanna see the looks. I would say my Instagram account is honestly less fashion looks, more just like me having dance parties, having a good time. Instagram stories are where it's at. The feeds bore the shit out of me. It's a little zip, so that's why I've kind of justified getting two cardigans. They're very different. That one's like long and chunky. This one's a little bit more fitted. I feel like I just look like a cute bitch in this. I don't know. I feel like if I zip it up all the way, I'm like, I'm about to go skiing, I'm gonna hit the slopes you know, in LA, in my underwear. And I just know that I will be wearing this all the time. And I love it like that. I just feel like that's such a cute classic look when you're trying to be a classic bitch. And like sometimes, sometimes I'm trying to be a classic bitch. 
This next item is the slip dress that I showed you guys in the video and I'm just gonna like throw it on over this t-shirt. It's a little bit too big on me. I believe it's a large, but I'm gonna be definitely listing it in my next closet sale, which will be this weekend on my Instagram stories. And it just reminded me of the dress that I thrifted for Carrie that she was wearing in the last LA Thrift Queens video because it has the same kind of like material. Just kind of gives me like a similar vibe. So if you're into this, it'll be on my Instagram story V soon but I love the color. I think it's a really good fall slip dress with like the teal and the gold. One more thing. Okay, so this isn't my favorite thing of the video, but it's definitely like the steal of the video. They had a ton of coach bags there. And coach, I kind of feel like putting that cardigan back on. Hold on, I feel like this looked really cute. Coach is definitely making like a little bit of a resurgence right now. So I decided to pick up a coach bag there because they had some that were like kind of overpriced, but they had some that were like, I don't know, someone like forgot to mark it correctly because this one was only $15 and since I had a coupon for my whole loot, I just decided to pick it up because when we hit 10K subscribers on it, Blazed and Glaze, I'm gonna be doing a really cool giveaway. All the giveaways that I'm going to do on this channel, like when we hit different milestones are gonna be like cool, vintage, thrifted, like really amazing pieces that I've already been like finding for you guys. So I decided to pick this up for this. So when we do hit 10K subscribers, this will be in the giveaway. It's just like a cute little coach bag. I just feel like that's so cute. I love the style of it. I love how big the buckles are right here. Very early 2000s mall girl. That's what I feel like right now, but like in a good way. So I cannot wait to give this to one of you guys along with, spoiler alert, some vintage Gucci sunglasses. So that is all of the items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you are not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would hit subscribe down below. Leave me a comment down below letting me know your favorite item in the video or just something fabulous going on with you. Whatever is going on with you, I wanna know. Let's chit the chat in the comments. Please send all of the good endometriosis vibes my way so I start feeling better soon. I love you guys so much. Do not forget for one second that you are a beautiful ass queen just the way you are. Shimmy shimmy, gimme gimme, and I will see you guys back here on Friday. Peace. Wow, okay, so this must be a sign that endometriosis has completely taken over my brain at this point because I totally forgot to mention that I did indeed bring home this jacket and it is indeed fabulous. Okay, peace for real this time.